Hello and welcome to Car and Bike. This is the Okinawa OK90, the newest premium flagship scooter from Okinawa. And well, if you are noticing something different, that is because they say that this is a mix between a scooter and a motorcycle. And as a new premium offering, well, there's plenty to talk about. So let's just quickly dive into what the OK90 has to offer so that you can push to plug in. Before we tell you more about the OK90, we have to tell you that this video was shot with the new Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. Now the Okinawa OK90 is indeed special. It is the most premium offering from Okinawa and well, it looks very different. Well, you got 16 inch wheels, the biggest we've seen on an electric scooter so far. And actually one of the biggest we've seen on scooters so far in India at least. And definitely it's a large scooter. You come to the profile and you see just how big it is, 1570 millimeters of just the wheelbase and you know it's a big scooter. Let me just get on it and you get about 175 millimeters of ground clearance and that's a high floorboard. Now I have just about uh, just enough uh, knee room over here but uh, I would like to know more about it when I ride it and that's when we can tell you how it actually feels in riding. Uh, the seat height is low though so I'm sure a lot of people will be indeed comfortable on it. And the overall impressions, in fact, for me personally, is that it's a premium scooter. The way it looks, the way it, uh, the lines are, uh, even the seat, it's a nice step-up saddle seat. You get a nice carrier over here. Uh, but even premium bits like uh, the LED headlamp, uh, the DRLs over here, you get blinkers at the bottom and some chrome lighting over here. It's a fairly large apron as well. And chrome uh, rear view mirrors, again, a very nice touch. The quality level too is something that I wish were better. Uh, look at the gaps here, even though there's some chrome lining here, but you do see some of that gap that I wish wasn't there. So yes, overall it's a big improvement from what Okinawa used to make, but uh, I would still feel that there is still more to go and more to follow. Let's talk about the specifications. 3.6 kilowatt hour battery pack and a 3.8 kilowatt motor on this electric scooter. Now what's really special is that this actually gets a bell drive motor as compared to a wheel hub motor that we've seen on other Okinawa products. So indeed, it's a step up for the brand as well. Now in terms of range, it says about 160 kilometers on a single charge, but that's in the sport mode. If you put it on eco mode, Okinawa claims that it can go up to 200 kilometers on a single charge. Something that of course we will have to test and tell you about it. You also get uh, OTA updates, you get turn better navigation, you get Bluetooth connectivity, all the new features that you get on premium scooters from Aether, from Ola and the likes. So that indeed makes this a very uh, interesting competitor to look forward to. Finally, let's come down to the price of the OK90. It's 1,21,866 rupees and that's with a Fame 2 subsidy. Now, depending on the state you are in, you can of course claim the state subsidy and the prices should go lower. And that makes a very attractive scooter in its sense. Of course, we will have to ride it and tell you more about it, how it performs, how it rides, what the comfort is like. So lots of questions to be answered going forward. What do you think about the OK90? Do tell us. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button.